Right, let's have a look at unboxing the HTC 10. And if you think I'm bad enough for uploading it, you searched out and looking at it on the, the web as we speak. Let's start off by opening up the shrink wrap plastic. Nice minimal packing. Usual uh, seals that need removing. So let's use a handy knife to do that. Okay, so then we have the packaging. Slightly snugger fitted than expected. And there we have the boxed contents. Let's have a look at the fingerprint pad there. Some very nice little bits of information. A couple of those bash lights, I reckon. Fingerprint pad and a power key. So let's, uh, let's look at taking the phone out. First impressions, it's got a lovely weight to it. Beautiful piece of metal here. Let me slide a little tab out there. How do I obtain access to the machine itself? I see. I'm wrapping it there. Yeah, first impressions, this is a quality item. Uh, it's got a lovely weight to it. Um, it feels really good in the hand. It's got a nice weight to it. It feels substantial and it feels like an expensive product. Um, the fingerprint pad at the bottom. There's the power key. Uh, it's a little bit different than the Samsung S6, which I also run. That's what it looks like from the side. Pretty nice and thin. There's a rear view of the camera. And the laser rangefinder. What else have we got in the box? Let's have a little look. A very chic set of packaging here. My little SIM removal card. Or SIM card removal tool. And what have we got inside here? We have a, I'm going to move my um, IMEI number there. Thank you. And looks like we actually have a proper instruction manual written down in paper. Warranty, a warranty statement, end user agreement, that kind of good stuff as well. Nice little quick start guide as to what to do. Notice it takes a nano sim. Let's put these to one side. Usual warranty, etc. European certificates of conformity. That's what we have under here now. Power cable, nice and small, and the USB-C series, universal um, power cable charger, data transfer, etc. All these to one side. And the headphones, which I gather now are high resolution certified, so these are probably going to be about the best um, headphones you're going to be able to get for your portable device. Uh, I do like listening to music, and I will be using these with some interest. Uh, also note that you can put an SD card into this so you can increase your storage from 32 gig, uh, which is already built in, up to possibly 128, depending on the size of card you have. So back to the, the machine itself. Yeah, first impressions. This is a beautifully made piece of kit. And I have no connection whatsoever with HTC or anybody else in the mobile phone industry.